Man, it's official. Colorado is the Adrian Bronner of college football. I repeat, Colorado I is the Adrian Bronner of college football. Now, if you don't know who Adrian Bronner is, just go look at some of his highlights. He was a well, uh, well old machine at the beginning of his career. Uh, he he got a few titles. I think I think he got three titles. But now on the tail end of his career, all he do is talk shit and get beat. That's it. Adrian Broner would talk a good game, make it sound good, talk shit, shit, shit. I mean, talk that shit. And as soon as he get in the ring, he get knocked the fuck out. That's what's going on in Colorado right now. This is why y'all have such a big target on y'all's back. Not because y'all good. Not because y'all are intimidating. Not because people respect y'all. Not because of the accolades that y'all have uh, 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 obtained. Not because of the success you've had. Y'all have a target on y'all back because y'all too damn arrogant for nothing. Colorado, even the fans, oh yeah, y'all too arrogant for nothing. We met, pretty much made a mockery of college football all because y'all love Deion Sanders. Yeah, we love Deion. I love, we, got, we, we got a lot of love for our greats. That's, that's one of the greatest athletes to ever lace them up. But at the same time, we, we talking football. We talking coaching. We talking about what he representing right now. And y'all have really came out here and stuck y'all foot all the way in y'all mouth. You said you're going to do this. You said you're going to do that. All off season, all last year, all that. I mean, y'all talked a big game. And when it came time to get in the ring, oh, it's ugly right now, man. Colorado fans are crying right now. I understand that you're supposed to support no matter what, win, lose, or draw. If you're a true fan, you're a true supporter, you're going to support these guys, win, lose, or draw. You're supposed to do that. I'm, I still support what Coach Prime trying to do. I, re, I really wish that one of these black coaches would take over college football. I really thought that Prime was headed towards that, but he's there to showcase your dirt. And it's crazy. They, they, they have become so arrogant. If you just listen to him talk, listen to Coach Prime's press conference. He's still talking about he's uh, he, he can take all the the criticism. He can take. He's still talking in this arrogant, uh, passive way. You know, it's like, like nothing that he's doing is wrong. Everything is somebody else's fault other than theirs. And he's passed it down to Shadur, and y'all can see. But what I want y'all to think about right now is that, you know, my boy Shiloh Sanders, Mr. Headache Game. Now, I'm making this video because I want y'all to I want y'all think about something. When the Nebraska running back, well, uh, I'll, I'll do respect to Shiloh. I, want, I hope you get well. That was a crazy injury. But at the same time, uh, God, the number 23, uh, I forget his name, the running back for Nebraska. Damn. When that man, when I tell you, this man was on a mission. He heard about here that game. They've been watching y'all. Everybody been watching y'all. When, when y'all walked in the stadium, they was already hollering Bucky name and well off media. As soon as y'all walked in Nebraska. So they've been watching y'all. So headache gang is something that people heard about. We seen Shiloh last year. We seen him the year before. Shiloh can lay that wood. That's one thing he definitely can do. He will hit your ass. So the, the running back from Nebraska, number 23, took it upon himself to see where headache gang was at. He wanted to see where that shit, because 23 ain't running from nothing. He didn't duck the smoke. He didn't, I'm talking about he wanted it. When number 23 hit that hole and seen 21, his eyes lit up. Look at the way he lunged at, at, at Shiloh. Look, just look at it. He's lunging. He's projecting his body to the fullest extent into Shiloh, into him. Not, not shoulder. <laughs> not, he, he don't have one foot in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Trying to run him over with his shoulder, with his head. This man got off his feet. This man jumped off two feet into Shiloh. He wanted to see where Headache Gang was at. And guess what Headache Gang did? He ducked that smoke. And it's crazy because this how, this, this how strong this young man, this how strong number 23 is, the running back. This how strong he is. He broke Shiloh's forearm. Y'all know how hard the forearm bone is? He broke his forearm, forearm with his leg. Shallow's forearm hit that man's leg. It didn't hit his head. It didn't hit his shoulder. Hit his leg. That's how hard this man was running. And Shallow even said it in his video. He said, uh, 
He said that the running back was running at him with a full head of steam, and he was. He wanted to see where Headache Gang was at. And guess what Guess what Headache Gang did? He ducked that smoke. Now, Shallow, shout out to you, man. You're, you're, you're a big-time player, definitely an NFL player. But when it comes to situations like this, you got to put your big boy pants on, dog. You can't duck that smoke. I think that's why you broke your arm, because you ducked. You shouldn't have ducked. You should have you met him head on. If he going to run you over, let him run you over, but at least make the tackle. You got to know how to take one before. Pause. I'm just saying, hey, so, sometimes you got to take one. Pause. But at the same time, look, I done, I done been in that situation. I done played. I played a uh, cornerback. I played uh, a, lot, a lot of different positions on defense when I did play defense. I played corner, safety. I played uh, off the edge sometimes because I was so quick and I was strong. And I'm telling you, when somebody's coming at you with a full head of steam like that, you have to get in there. You have to wrap your arms around them. You ha- You can't take it. And I've been ran over before. So I know what it feels like. I ain't never duck no smoke. Can't nobody in my path, nobody in my family, no, nobody in my friends, nothing ever said, can they ever say that, that, that goddamn, I done ducked something. Now nah, I'm going to go head up with you. That's what Shallow should have did. You might have had a concussion. You might have you uh, 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 dislocated your shoulder or anything. But when you duck that smoke, and that, that, that allowed that man's leg to hit your arm like that. And, and for you to be headache gang, you ain't supposed to be ducking no smoke. But it's very, it's very unfortunate for Shallow. I hope he uh, get well soon. Hope he, hope he, hope he able to play this weekend because I really enjoy watching Shallow. Shallow had one of the biggest defensive plays last season. That that pick six against Colorado State. That was one of the biggest defensive plays all season last year. And when and, and, and if you remember when he caught that pick six and took it back, Colorado went dumb. It went stupid in that motherfucker. So he's a big time player. He he got a lot of love in the area, a lot of love for the team. So I wish him a speedy recovery. But Shiloh, you can't duck no smoke, man. You can't duck no smoke, man. Y'all like that, 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 hey, you can't duck no smoke. All that shit y'all been talking, all the hoorah y'all talking in this, that, and third, you, you had a game. You can't duck no smoke. And the crazy part about uh, the running back from uh, Nebraska, this man is a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Sophomore. And the way he lunged into shallow, that let me know he's all about physicality. He want all the smoke. He want it all. He don't he don't shy away from nothing. And he firm too. He a stout little dude from Mississippi. And and, and and guess what? He'll be back. I'm pretty sure he'll be back next year. And he looks like a, a future NFL back, uh, tough as he is. Cause I'm talking about this man's leg is what broke Shallow's arm. So I want y'all to uh uh y'all Colorado fans, y'all stay tuned, man. Watch the team, cause um. Like I said, all the, all the Colorado, Colorado supporters, I support all black coaches, all, all the 17 teams that's, that's doing their thing, from the Virginias to the Marylands, to the to the Marshall, to Kent State. Well, hey, hey, we having rough seasons, especially at Kent State right now, but we're going to get it up. But the, but the stuff that Coach Prime, what you doing in Colorado, you need to cut them cameras off Monday through Thursday. Tell Bucky, get out, cut them cameras off Monday through Thursday. You can bring them out for the post game, pre game, in game. You know, you can bring them out Friday through the walkthroughs, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It can be cameras rolling, well off media all day long. But y'all giving these teams too much access to y'all, man. They seeing what y'all doing. They seeing what y'all talking about. They seeing what y'all thinking. They might see, they might not see your game plan, but they see your preparation. They see what you're doing. You think they ain't watching what y'all doing in the practice fields and stuff like that in them in them, in them videos? Like y'all, Coach Prime, you got to put your foot down. I know Bucky doing a great job with his with his media, but you got to put your foot down. You got to think about the the team, the organization, the the college football that's going on. You can't play with that. It's not a movie. Sorry, it's not a movie. It'll be a movie after. But I really want y'all to succeed. I want y'all to get out this slump. And I really feel like that camera got a lot to do with it, man. Take them cameras off. Get down to the the gristle and the bone. The, the gristle and the bone. Get down to the nitty gritty and let them boys focus on their craft. Because right now they just focus on views and, like everybody say, views and clicks. Y'all still got the cameras rolling. So, man, ha- have some type of discipline, some type of discernment in, in that field of 
uh, uh, advertisement, because that's all you're doing, advertising your son and stuff, getting him in the league. Yeah, he going to get in the league, Brian. He's in there. Him and Travis, they in there. Shallow, too. They solidified. Cut the cameras off Monday to Thursday. And I bet y'all win some games. I bet y'all focus more. And as for headache gang, hey, man, get well soon, bro. You can't duck no smoke, though. But number 23 was not playing with your ass. He, I'm talking about that man lunged into He wanted to kill Shiloh, man. He wanted to see all that headache game. He wanted to see it firsthand. He wanted to see if he was really like that. And I guarantee you, number 23 from Nebraska, the running back, I guarantee you, right now, he's feeling like, hey, you ain't like that, Shiloh. He know you ducked. He know you ducked that smoke, man. PSA, I'm out of here, man.